In the last video, we looked at the very useful data bars feature within conditional formatting. In this video, we're going to understand color fill, another really effective way of highlighting information within your data. To start with, I'm going to select just one column, and we're going to look at how color fill highlights certain data. Within my conditional formatting menu, I find the color scales, and again, I have a variety of different flavors. Let's just select the first one and watch the preview on screen. Perhaps it might be useful to read that uh, tooltip as well. Green, yellow, red color scale. Apply a color gradient range of cells and the color indicates where each cell value falls within that range. What it is not telling you, and it perhaps should, is that it is highlighting in green the highest values and red the lowest values. This may be appropriate for many situations. However, sometimes higher numbers are bad and are bad is universally associated with red. So we can decide which one of these many options to pick. So for now, I'm just going to go with the default option. We'll leave that smaller values are red and broadly associating red with bad. So this gives us a excellent visual cue to see that there is a pattern emerging in our data. We can see that this end of the spectrum seems to be a lot greener. So it seems to be telling me that the months of August, September, October, November are doing particularly well, presumably in some sort of pre-Christmas buildup. And then we see the numbers dip a little bit as we hit December. This is already quite useful information, or rather, a quite a useful graphical display of our information. But in this situation, we have various columns covering various years. So it is possible that we may want to see our trends identified over a longer period. In my opinion, this is where color scales really come into their own. First of all, let's delete the original formatting. I'm now going to select the entire table, return to conditional formatting, and select my color scales. Again, let's stick with the same option of green is good and red is bad, and select it. Here we can see multiple trends emerging at the same time. We can see that clearly the numbers were lower in 2009, and they have been progressively building over the years. And at the same time, we can still see the pre-Christmas peak. Thus, using color scales, we're able to get a broad picture of the flow of data. We're getting an excellent visual indication of where our high, our lows are, and what patterns are emerging in the data over time. There's many different tables that run with two axis, with one variable along one axis, and another variable along another. If you want to highlight certain information within such a grid, color scales are an excellent way to do it. In the next video, we're going to look at icon sets.